It's been said that God rewrites the book of Genesis every spring. In the beginning, takes on special meaning each year as we witness the renewed life, the rebirth, and the new beginnings that seem to be built into Earth's cycle of seasons. It's as if nature itself is trying to tell us that whatever we are going through, things can change, things can get better. No matter how long the winter, spring is sure to follow. The days will become a little brighter, the weather a little warmer, and life will be restored. Ultimately, it's a reminder of the hope expressed by Robert Browning. God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. We need that reassurance from time to time, especially in moments when life gets hard and all doesn't seem right with the world. When the fire of truth and faith has been extinguished, we need to know that it can be rekindled and burn again in our souls. When hearts have been broken and dreams shattered, we need to be reminded that they can be mended and rebuilt over time. Just as surely as brown grass, battered trees, and leafless shrubs can become green and blooming once again, we can believe in the promise of new life and renewed beginnings. In that spirit, a poet once observed, I wonder if the daffodil shrinks from the touch of frost, and when her veins grow stiff and still, she dreams that life is lost. Ah, if she does, how sweet a thing, her resurrection day in spring. That is the hope of this season. It is the assurance that nothing is ever permanently lost, that no one is forever gone. Indeed, heartbreak, discouragement, even death itself is not final, as long as we have hope in that resurrection day in spring. This is why we sing, Hail the day that sees us rise, from doubt to devotion, from fear to faith, from death to life.